Jim Denton was a special and unique personality. Like no one else I know, he had this uncanny ability to understand that what really matters for the transatlantic alliance is people. And he could bring people together in a way like no one else really could. And he had this uncanny ability to identify the next generation of emerging leaders. To me, he was a mentor, a dear friend, and someone who I can honestly say without whose advice I would not be where I am today. And I think he served that function and he was in that role to so many, dozens and dozens of people over his lifetime. Uh, and Jim was somebody with a very, very deep commitment to democratic values. I sometimes thought that what Jim did, what he said, it was coming from his soul. And I think people appreciated how deep this, uh, this commitment was. He was part of a small band of people who shared this very, very deep commitment and, and, uh, and, and they respected Jim uh, for, for what he was. Jim Denton was a remarkable talent scout. He had an eye for finding young men and women who had the passion, the determination, and the smarts to be effective champions for democracy on both sides of the Atlantic. He built a remarkable community, people who helped advance freedom in their own nations and supported democracy around the world. I had the ch chance to benefit from Jim's work by meeting with many of those that he gathered, by hiring some, by being inspired by all. Uh, in 1989, as the events uh, in Eastern Europe unfolded, Jim was, was really gung-ho to help these fledgling democracies, collapsing communist states, to um, have a successful path forward. And he knew the value of ideas and youth and principles. We must recognize and remember the people who helped to make this happen and who had dedication and persistence to bring Eastern Europe closer to the United States. This is why I'm humbled and honored to have known Jim Denton. Jim Denton was an amazing human being whom I was proud to call a friend. He has devoted the last decade of his life to convening young transatlantic leaders in the pursuit of strengthening the NATO transatlantic alliance, but also in the pursuit of democratic values. James Denton was a citizen of the world who not only cared deeply about the unity of transatlantic partnerships, but who also fought for promoting the mutual understanding of all people around the globe. He was a real defender of democracy and human freedom. Although I never had the pleasure of meeting James Denton personally, I know that he had a great respect for a region and Hungary. He completely understood the unique geopolitical and historical role of Central Europe and the V4 on the world stage. For me, people like him are a great inspiration. Jim Denton was a truly extraordinary person. He was very passionate. He was so committed to strengthening transatlantic partnerships. Jim was great in building bridges and connecting people. Denton was a great eminence who pulled strings in the background, organizing events, funding institutes, and connecting people with each other. He worked tirelessly, not only building bridges among young politicians, thinkers, journalists, and scientists of Eastern Central Europe and the United States of America. He also helped link past, present, and future. We were talking one-on-one -on -one for several hours in a row, and the motivation he enriched me with gave me a pure vision for the years ahead. And Jim gave me an advice which I am keeping to till today. He told me, you should push the button apply for until you feel the pain in your finger and when you feel the pain you should proceed pushing i first met jim in the early 90s shortly after our first free elections in central europe he was among the very first americans to reach out to us new democracies 
But in doing so, what I gained in meeting Jim was a 30-year-long friendship that was very special to me in more than one ways. The legacy left by James Danton can only be inspirational to me. I was born in Central Europe, and when I look at the level of enthusiasm and the amount of work that James has invested into building ties between the US and Europe, and more broadly how he cared and cherished about the transatlantic link. I do believe that we still need people like him. We had challenges back at that time with the collapse of the Soviet Union, and regaining independence in Central Europe from the communist oppression and we have different challenges nowadays. What inspired me then about Jim and what keeps inspiring me to this day is his commitment to the idea um, of improving, solidifying, reinforcing the uh, relations between the US and Europe. At the same time as I met his colleagues, his friends and his relatives, I still got an opportunity to learn about his great personality his passion for transatlantic partnership, his friendship, and his hospitality. So when I had a chance to go to DC, being a part of James Denton Transatlantic Fellowship Program, it opened completely new perspectives, organizations, and personal contacts. I wish all the people in SIPA, and I wish the, the Denton Fellowship uh, to grow, to expand even during this uh, trying times. The transatlantic community needs people like Jim Denton and what he's working for is important. Bringing Central and Eastern Europeans and Americans together. I would like to uh, express my gratitude to SIPA but also to Mr. Um, James Denton for his work and uh, the legacy that he left be behind. So Jim has left an immense legacy in those people, in us, in the young leaders, both in Central Europe and in the United States, who are today friends, but also brothers in arms. Jim, we miss you very much, and we owe you so much. We remember you, Jim. We thank you for your efforts, and we honor them today. And without him and his commitment to values, to the people connections that undergird those values, we would not have the cohort of the next transatlanticists that we see emerging today. And much of that had to do with Jim's just belief in people, that people really matter, that every person matters, that a single person can make the difference. He had a terrific convening uh, capacity. He could bring people together, and he always brought people together. Even really at the end of his life, he was still bringing people together when he was, when he was very ill and not feeling well, but he still wanted, he, he thought that the convening of people was a way of strengthening the overall, uh, the overall work. And I feel privileged uh, for, uh, uh, for having known Jim and been his friend, uh, and for that I'm forever grateful. Thank you.